Welcome to everyone. Joining us today is board certified dermatologist and our good friend, Dr. Sonia Batra. Welcome Dr. back. Peter, How is life? Are you ready for this? Welcome back. Now, Dr. O, as we all know, is a plastic surgeon. He has people coming to him all the time trying to achieve the perfect look. But the opposite of that, let's talk about it. There's an app called the Ugly Meter. Uh-oh. You take a picture of yourself, and then it takes measurements of the size of your face, your nose, your mouth, your eyes, all that stuff, to see how ideal your face is. The problem is, the results can be pretty harsh. Uh oh. In fact, we tried this out before the show, and uh, you have the results. I have the results. Are you going to hit me with the ugly stick now? So. Uh oh. So, I'm so actually, so there's kind of two interesting aspects. There's the original version of this app, which was just the regular ugly meter, and that actually was just strictly for entertainment. Okay. So the score was totally random, and then it would purposefully spit out a really insulting phrase that uh -oh. you could put on Twitter or Facebook and put up with an ugly photo. So all in good fun. All in we good can, fun. We can take it. And the Bring it on. second version of this, the ugly meter pro, actually is based on these true calculations, which measuring distances and looking at the ideal ratio as to what's attractive the and The so-called golden ratio, so exactly. right? That we know in beauty the proportions of the face. Ideally, mm -hmm. our face is divided into thirds. Exactly. And, right. and I guess the yeah. key the key measurement is that distance from the eyes to the mouth. You want that to be that, that third. About and, a third. And exactly and right. And yeah. Triangle. And so... I wonder how this guy is going to do. So, uh, on the uh, ugly meter pro, so in the pro, the higher score, like you go from zero to 100, so towards so 100 it's, is it's better. it's like 90 plus is an A percent, it, it, or an A, 80 to 89 is a B. I can see it so, already. He's creating competition. So, Travis, your can you score... Use a, can you use a younger picture of me, or...? Well, so that's the thing. This is this is not a foolproof. It's an app, right? So you okay. might do it on a All picture. Right, and Drew, get this a isn't going to end well for either of us. I can tell you that but, right um, now. But on the Ugly Meter Pro, your <laughs> score was 68. What? This is an app. It is valuable. But I thought that the comment from the original version, the Ugly Meter, was your face could turn milk into yogurt just by looking at it. <laughs> really? I mean, hey, I like that, yogurt. That, I like yogurt. So thank you, Ugly <laughs> Meter. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Dr. So, Sonia, I'm ready. So, oh. Drew, your score. What do I have to beat a 60 what? 68. Uh, 68. Your score was a 70. <laughs> That you're so ugly, the tide wouldn't take you out. <laughs> I'm just glad I beat pretty boy Floyd over there. Hey, I, lo I love so, how you're so excited that you got a 70%, which hey, clearly. Listen, I guess according to them, we're both just plain ugly. Oh. So, so you can actually have a feature on this app, which is called the bully mode, and, and that actually ratchets it up so that the insults are even worse. This is meant to be in good fun. Obviously, incredibly attractive man I'm sitting between right now. Apparently. And, and it's one of those that you just don't want someone to take this out of context, not realize that it's purely for fun it's and entertainment, fun. I think and use fun. it for cyberbullying or something Dr. Batra, quick about question. So. True or false, our producers put you up to this to basically shame us into working on our personalities because, <laughs> <laughs> because we're apparently not doing well in the, uh, the pretty department.